tuning in. I'm going to teach you how to create a successful investment strategy. Make sure you watch until the end and use the link in the description to register for our free webinars and hit the like button to subscribe to our channel if you want more financial tips so you can invest wisely. My name is Matthew Del Hunco. I'm Senior Wealth Advisor and VP of Sales here at Liberty Group. We help families and individuals invest successfully. When it comes to investing, we believe you should spread your investments around so you're not overly exposed to one asset class. The idea is to help reduce the volatility of your portfolio over time. So where do you start? I can't stress this enough, but focus on what you can control. Identify your goals, evaluate your risk, and stay disciplined. Identifying your goals allows you to take a step back and, and look at what your short and long-term needs are. Oftentimes, it will answer the question what your money really means to you. Would it be to generate enough income that you can supplement your working lifestyle? Would it be to preserve capital to maintain your net worth to cover your core expenses? Or is it to speculate and achieve the highest expected return to build wealth so you can retire earlier? While people have similar goals, the way in which they prioritize them are typically different. Once your goals are identified, you're able to talk about risk. When you invest, there's a trade-off between risk and reward. And this relationship gives you an expected return for the risk you're willing to take on. Generally, the greater the risk you take, the greater the, rewar the reward. But avoid these stereotypes. Young people have time to make up for losses, so they must have an aggressive risk tolerance. Or older investors need to preserve wealth, so they must be conservative. Every investor has their own comfort zone. That proper balance of risk and reward. And these stereotypes are wrong. Ask yourself, how far can your investment fall within a period of time before you will make an emotionally charged, aka poor investment decision? Now, is there a right or wrong level of risk that is appropriate? Not at all. But it's essential to align the expected return from your investments to your desired goals. If you're invested more aggressively during high volatility, you may panic and react emotionally. If you're invested too conservatively, you risk the potential shortfall of not being able to achieve your goals. And this is where a valued fiduciary and financial advisor comes in. It's important to have a third party perspective so they can be objective with you. In our opinion, you have three different buckets where you can put your money. The first is your First bucket is your safe money. These are investments that can't lose principal. Low risk, but low return. The next bucket is your income bucket. And these are investments that seek steady returns. So annuities, bonds, REITs, rental income. And the third is growth money. And these are the investments that are sensitive to the volatility in the market. Stocks, mutual funds, ETFs. More risk, more reward. But depending on the desired level of risk will determine what percentage of money to allocate within each bucket. And last, stay disciplined. Stay disciplined through the ups and the downs. You can never be sure how a single event will impact your portfolio. Don't let the crisis of the day affect your long-term strategy and sentiment. News and media can influence your investment behavior. But a disciplined investor looks beyond the concerns of today to the long-term growth potential of the markets. Growing wealth has no shortcuts. Success requires a solid investment approach, a long-term perspective, and the discipline to stay the course. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the notifications bell when you do so. You'll be updated when we post new videos. Register for our free webinar at the link below and remember we at Liberty Group post new webinars often so check the link. Thanks for watching. Until next time.